Today we're learning the last piece of the Gymnopédie, number one piano tutorial series, I guess. Uh, the part we're learning today sounds like this. So it's basically very similar to the, to the last tutorial, except with a couple of changes that make it sound uh, almost eerie or extra sad. Uh, okay, so the first thing that I want to point out is that this is the second ending. So you'll notice that in the sheet music, if you're looking at the sheet music, you'll see a bracket above the music um, that has a, the number two. And that just says you that the, tells you that the second time you play through the music, instead of go, playing the part that has the bracket with the one underneath, you're going to play this instead. All right, so it's sort of like the the uh, alternate ending, if you will. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is the right hand, the guess sort of like the melody that it's playing. And you've got this little pickup. Um, it's this D into a G. And right away, it's using this, it's going to this F natural. So you've got D, G, F natural, which makes it already sound weird, because before we've got that F sharp. So you get an F natural, it's like a little bit weird. You're gonna come down to this um, B, <laughs> C natural. So these naturals are making everything seem weird. F natural, E, D, C natural, E, D, C natural, F natural, and that's pretty much the melody, and after that you're going to do a, a chord thing, and, and if you remember from the last tutorial, you did this thing where you jumped down and you played this chord, an A and a D, a B, D, and a G, you jumped up to an inverted A minor chord, so C, D, A, and C, and so far everything is, is the same in this part as well, but the last chord, in the last tutorial you went to this chord, a D major, but in this chord you're going to a D minor, so instead of playing this F sharp, you're going to play an F natural. So you're going to play D, F natural, A, and D. And that's part of what makes it sort of creepy, all those naturals, okay? So, while your right hand is playing that, um, that melody, your left hand is doing its normal sort of bounce thing. Well, one thing that makes this part a little bit easy uh, to remember is that your the low note that you're bouncing between is um, always going to be this E, okay? So right when you strike this G, you're playing that low E, and that's going to sort of get you into the rest of the sequence. That low E, and then you jump up, and you're going to play this chord, um, which is an, it's an inverted E minor chord, but I think about the fact that my right hand is playing a G at the part at the mel uh, the melody part here, I think about trying to hit that G with my thumb. So I've got B, E, and G in my left hand. And then when you go down to this F natural, you're hitting that E again. You're always going to be bouncing between this E for the most part. And now this time, you've got this sort of strange chord. Um, it's a D, uh, D minor. Uh, but it's played in a sort of a way. Well, basically what I want to show you is that when you're playing this F, um, the F is still my target for my right hand, but I I'm trying to remember that I'm playing it with my two finger so that it sort of spreads out below and around that F. But it's still my target. I don't know if that helps you or not, but if it helps you, you can try. So you're playing an A, a D, an F, and an A. Okay, so the first two measures, you got this pickup, which is in the measure before, actually. And then you've got the first two measures, E in the left hand and G in the right hand. Jump up and find this G. F natural while you go back to the E. I find this F. Okay? Then you're going to drop down. I'm playing this with my thumb. You're playing a B with your right hand while you jump back down to this E. You're going to be playing the C natural next, but you want to be sure to come up and play this chord. Okay, so it's an F chord, you're playing an A, a C, and an F 
in your left hand, I'm still using this C as my target, okay? But I want to point out to you that a chord that's coming up next with your left hand is shaped exactly like this. You just slide it all over two white notes. So keep in mind that this is going to be sort of like similar but in a different place next time, okay? Okay, so we did this B, C natural, we're climbing. We play this E up here, E natural. I'm sorry, F natural. And then back to this E. Now here's the part where the, you're playing this chord that sort of jumps up a little bit. You've got a C, an E, and an A while you play the D with your right hand. All right, I'm gonna keep going because there's only one measure before we can uh, review one or two measures. You play this C natural. You repeat the right hand little, like basically the measure that you just played, you repeat with the right hand. So you go up to this E while you're playing E's down here. All right, you're gonna jump up. This part gets a little bit strange. Uh, you've got, um, it's kind of a spider chord. You've got A, C, F, and A while you're playing the D in your right hand. And then you're basically going to come down here, play an F natural while you play that E, and that's going to initiate the chord sequence. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to break that down for you in a second. I just want to review what we got up to so far, all right? So you've got this pickup, and then you go into this G, and you're playing these bouncing E's, right? Find this G, F natural, find the F, find the B with your thumb while you jump back down to this E. C natural here while you play this weird uh, sort of F chord. Jump up to the F natural, back to that E. Slide the chord up. Repeat that melody in the right hand. Play this spider chord. The F and the E. Now you'll notice that that sounds kind of terrible, and it's a, it, well not terrible. It's like good. In, it's bad in a good way. There's some, something that we need to resolve there, so it feels unresolved. Okay, so you're then going to jump. So just like in the in the last tutorial, your left hand sort of climbed up. It, it did an E, B, and an E while you were playing this chord sequence. That should look familiar, right? That's the same as the tutorial before. So you've got F and E in your left hand. The only difference is that you're starting with an F natural um, in your right hand. When this plays the A, you're playing, I'm sorry, when this plays the B, you're playing an A and a D. When this goes up to the E, you got this nice, really nice sort of round sounding chord. You've got an E in your left hand, B, D, and G in your right hand. And you've got these two chords to finish the entire song. And just like before, uh, just like in the, in the tutorial right before this one, you play this chord, so you've got like an A and a G in your left hand. You've got a C, an E, an A, another C in your right hand. And just like in the tutorial before, your left hand is still going to come down. You can find this note with your two finger. And you're going to find this um, D, A, and D. But instead of playing this D major like you did to end the song in the last tutorial, to end the, the section in the last tutorial, you're going to play a D minor. So instead of playing that F sharp, you're going to play an F natural. So that the last uh, three measures are like this. And then D minor up here. Okay, it's supposed to sound unresolved, almost like uh, painful, painful. So that's pretty much it. Take your time uh, and go through it and study. And I really hope this helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.